Hello students, today our topic is agriculture which belongs to CBSC class 10 SST geography. So first of all we have to start our discussion with the word what is the meaning of agriculture. Agriculture means the process of growing crops and also rearing the animals. Togetherly it calls agriculture but when we discuss about this agriculture that time the things the picture which comes in front of our eyes those are someone is doing the cultivational work with the help of plow and the and uh, the technologies etc but moreover we have to understand that it is the most primitive work of our country from the ancient time the people used to do this agricultural work and two-third of our total population are engaged with this agricultural work. Now we have to know that this agriculture doesn't only create the crops but also it is creating different raw materials which supply to the manufacturing industries and also boost up the economical development. And next we have to know that the different types of farming. Actually, there are many types of farming, but most importantly, there are three types of farming we are discussing here. That is the subsistence primitive farming. This type of farming is actually uh, continues from the ancient time when people don't have any modern technologies or something like that. That time they used to do this Zooming cultivation. What is zooming cultivation? Actually, it has another name that is called the slash and burn cultivation. In the ancient time, people don't have any proper concept about the farming work. So they used to do, they used to burn the entire land or the forest area. And after that, when it turned into ashes, they used to collect those ashes. And they spread all over the fellow land as the fertilizer. So after that they do their cultivational work. But what happened after one or two crop production the entire land has lost its uh, fertility. So that time they move to another place to search out another cultivational land. In this way they used to do this cultivational work. And that's why it is called the zooming cultivation. And not in India. Uh, but also all over the world it has different names. In India they have different names in different parts of our country. Now next thing is the commercial farming. Actually in the subsistence primitive farming the, the modern technologies are not used as much. And nextly we can say that in this farming subsistence farming the high dose biochemical fertilizers are used and uh, people used to uh, do this agricultural work with the help of cow and uh, the plow etc and no, no high quality seeds are used over here but the next thing is the commercial farming in the commercial farming uh, the high quality seeds are used then modern chemical fertilizers are used and modern technologies are used, modern techniques are used so that the production can happen in a huge volume. But the basic difference between these two farming is in a subsistence farming, the population pressure on the land is very high. On the other hand, in the commercial farming, all these purposes are done for the economical solution. And in the subsistence farming what happened, the people used to produce the crops to have the food from that part. And generation wise they used to do this cultivational work. But in the commercial farming, entire things are done for the economical benefit. Now one example I can give you, like rice is the staple food of West Bengal, Odisha etc. So we have done this farming as that's why it is called the subsistence farming. But the people of uh, or the farmers of uh, Punjab Haryana, they used to produce the rice for the commercial purpose. That means they used to sold out there. That's why we can say that the rice is the subsistence crop of the uh, Orissa and West Bengal zone. But rice is the commercial crop 
for the Punjab Haryana zone. But here I have drawn a map and locate that the black color zones are indicating the wheat producing area, major wheat producing area. That means I have write down few names like Punjab, Haryan, UP, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan. So all these zones of our country have the highly um, uh, invested for this wheat uh, production. And next, the blue color zones are indicating the rice producing area. Actually, the north and northeast part of our country and moreover, the few eastern part of southern uh, India are actually do, uh, doing the huge uh, amount of rice production. Now, the plantation crop. What are plantation crop? Actually, plantation means to uh, do this production for the economical benefit. It is also part of commercial farming. This plantation farming has been introduced in our country by the British government because that time uh, India was the colony of British government and they want to utilize every single land of our country to uh, get more and more money from this part. That's why they used to start it, their plantation production uh, by tea and coffee okay and after that rubber sugarcane all those has been turned into this plantation production and also banana in southern part of our country banana is also called the plantation crop plantation crop means totally the productions are done for the economical purpose and all these products are sold out to the foreign market that's why they are called the exporting products now the cropping pattern the cropping pattern means how many types of crops are being produced in our country actually season wise we can categorize them into three parts rabi crop khari crop and z crop what is rabi crop rabi crops are the crops which are shown in the time of october november and being harvested in the time of summer like wheat and pulses peas also, uh, etc. Grams, etc. And then Kharif crop. Kharif crops are actually shown in the time of monsoon season and they are being harvested in the time of pre October season. So that is called Kharif crop, like rice. Rice is most important Kharif crop of our country. And what is Z crop? Z crop is the crop which has been grown during the middle time of rabi crop and kharif crop like cucumber, mask melon, um, juar, bajra, gagi all these are called the Z crop and all these crops has a high importance in our country because our country's land portions are so good for the crop production that's why I told you previously that the maximum people 90% people of our country are engaged with this agricultural world. Now slowly I have going I am going to discuss about two types of crops first is the rice rice is the most important staple food of our country so i told you that it is growing actually the region of north northeast and the eastern part of our country now southern part yeah, southeastern part also so the actual temperature is needed for this rice production that is 25 degrees centigrade and 100 centimeter annual rainfall is necessary for this rice production and next wheat production for this wheat production wheat is actually a cold climatic crop we can say that that's why very um, moisture, uh, moisture free cold climate is necessary cold weather is temperature is necessary for this wheat production and rainfall should be 50 to 75 centimeter that means rainfall is not too much is necessary for this wheat production. So, moreover, we can see that these products are very important and most importantly, I have to discuss about the monsoon season's impact on this agriculture because monsoon is the key season which give a great impact on this agricultural work because for agriculture, we don't that uh, irrigation, 
proper use of fertilizer proper use of equipments labor all these are necessary like in plantation crop the migrant laborers are important but for the subsistence and commercial crop the people who belongs to the local region who know the skill of this farming they can do this so that's why all these requirements are necessary but moreover the climate is very important so according to the climate wise the entire country has their own different crop production and also the transport system is very vital because with the help of transport the raw materials are supplied to the factory where the things were manufactured and after that it was sold to the market and when we i am discussing about the market market demand is also necessary because if we don't have the demand of rice or wheat then this products will never sold out in the market and the production will never happen properly the farmers will suffer the problems of economy so that's why everything we can see that it is chain wise related and also the political support is necessary because if this farmer will never know the the political um, uh, they do will never have the political support and if they will never have the proper skills of this agricultural product then they will don't have any um reason to do this crop production and without this crop we will never live so every single time we have to know that we need to give a big support to our country's farmer so that they can provide us the proper food so now this is not the full description of this chapter next session i will discuss the rest part and other more crops but lastly i would like to say that please do subscribe the knowledge flame app and download it from the google play store and also subscribe the knowledge frame channel from youtube thank you so much